I'm Teacher Daisy. Today, I'm going to teach you Exercise Computer Chapter 1. I will explain this subject in English and Malay. However, the exam is using Malay, so you need to remember the terms in Malay. Let's start now. The first chapter is Concept Pemikiran Asas Computational. In this chapter, you will need to know what is Asas Pemikiran Computational, Empat proses computational and empat teknik dalam pemikiran computational. Asas pemikiran computational. What is pemikiran computational? Computational thinking. You may think that computational thinking means thinking like a computer or programming like a programmer. Actually not. Computational thinking is a very commonly used and the best way to solve a problem. Computational thinking is a process thought for the purpose of solving problems by humans themselves with the help of machine or both at once by using the basic concepts of computer science. There are some skills required for implementing computational thinking. For example, logical thinking and building algorithm, which you will see in chapter 3. In Malay, pemikiran computational ialah satu proses pemikiran bagi tujuan menyelesaikan masalah oleh manusia sendiri berbantukan mesin atau kedua-duanya sekali dengan menggunakan konsep asas sains komputer. Kemahiran-kemahiran seperti kemahiran berfikir secara logik dan kemahiran membina algoritma adalah diperlukan untuk melaksanakan pemikiran computational. Proses Pemikiran Computational There are four process in pemikiran computational. Let's say you have a big problem you want to solve. So you need to break your problem into smaller pieces. Masalah dipecahkan. Next, you need to find the pattern of your smaller pieces. Kenal pasti corak yang sama. After that, you need to leave out the not important pieces. Perkara tidak penting ditinggalkan. And lastly, you will come out a solution to that problem. Sediakan satu model penyelesaian masalah. Teknik dalam pemikiran computational. There are also empat teknik in pemikiran computational. This is a bit similar to process. But remember not to confuse of process and technique in pemikiran computational. Process is the flow of solving problems. While technique is the method used to solve problems. Let's look at empat teknik pemikiran computational. Technique Lerayan Decomposition is a breakdown technique for complex problems to a few small parts so that they are easier to manage. Technique Lerayan ialah satu teknik pemecahan masalah yang kompleks kepada beberapa bahagian yang kecil supaya lebih mudah diuruskan. Second, Teknik Pengecaman Corak Pattern Recognition a small parts that have been separate will be analyzed to identify any similarity. Teknik pengecaman corak ialah bahagian-bahagian kecil yang telah dipisahkan akan dianalisis untuk mengenal pasti seberang unsur-unsur kesamaan. Third, teknik peniskalaan abstraction is to focus on the important aspects of that can help in problem solving. Teknik peniskalaan ialah menumpukan kepada aspek-aspek penting yang dapat membantu dalam penyelesaian masalah. Oh, teknik pengiklakan. Generalization is creating a model in the form of formula, techniques, rules or steps for solving a problem. This model can be used to solve other similar problems. Teknik pengiklakan ialah pembinaan model yang berbentuk formula, teknik, peraturan 
atau langkah-langkah bagi menyelesaikan masalah. Model ini boleh digunakan untuk menyelesaikan masalah lain yang sama. We will have a look at the technique one by one in details with example. First technique, teknik lerayan. By using teknik lerayan, can simplify the solution of complex problem to smaller problem. Can understand the step orderly and easily. Can give better explanation to other people. Example, suppose you are a landscape architecture and are selected for reveal and estimate the cost required for set up a playground as in figure. The build-up area of the walkway is 800 square meters. An estimated cost for construction each facility is shown in the table. In order to calculate the whole playground cost, you need to use technique Lerayan to calculate one by one. The formula is construction cost. Cost pembinaan equals to number bilangan times area luas pembinaan times cost for one meter square. Cost untuk satu meter persegi. The cost of construction of tennis courts equals to 1 times 18 times 36 times 120 ringgit equals to 77,760 ringgit. The cost of building a basketball court equals to 1 times 16 times 32 times 100 ringgit equals to 51,200 ringgit. The cost of building two badminton courts equals to 2 times 20 times 10 times 80 ringgit equals to 32,000 ringgit. The cost of construction of walkway equals to 1 times 800 times 75 ringgit equals to 60,000 ringgit. The cost of planting grass equals to 1 times the whole area minus courts and walkway times cost for 1 meter square planting grass equals to 1 times 120 times 60 minus 648 plus 512 plus 200 plus 800 times 140 ringgit equals to 677,600 ringgit. In conclusion, this landscaping task would be easier to solve if using technique Lerayan. Second technique, technique pengecaman cora, used on different problems or between small parts in the same problem. Problems that have the same pattern are easier to solve because we can use the same problem solving method. Example, the figure shows a simulation of movement for sorting four pupils according to the numbers on the jersey from small to large. You are asked to recognize the pattern of movement. The different patterns are two groups and one group created alternately. The same pattern is smaller value in each group will be put on the left side. Third technique, technique peniskalaan. Before making a decision, important aspects of a problem are necessarily identified and recorded. The important aspects are the factors that will affect the decision. Example, a postman is assigned to send letters to seven villages, namely village A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The important aspects to complete this task are First, select a route that does not contain A, D routes. Second, select the nearest route. There are six routes here for the postman to choose. Let us help him to figure out which one is the best for him. First step, calculate all the root distance. Route 1 is calculated and the distance is 52 km. Route 2 equal to 46 km. Route 3 equals to 47 km. Route 4 equals to 47 kilometers. Route 5 equals to 44 kilometers. And Route 6 
equal to 46 kilometers. Left on the important aspects, root must not contain AD root. So 4, 5, 6 are eliminated. Among root 1, 2, 3, root 2 is the nearest root. Therefore, the best root for the postman is root 2. Fourth technique, technique pengiklakan. The ability to identify features of similarities or differences in a problem allows the problem to be broken down into smaller parts that are easier to solve. Two different problems can have same similarities and use the same problem solution. Example, situation 1. You are a supervisor at a packaging company. 10 packages need to pack inside 4 boxes. A, B, C, and D that having a height of 200 cm. First, label out the packages from tall to short. After that, put the tallest into box A. Then, check on the second tall package. Can it fit into box A? No. Then, can it fit into box B? Yes, so put in box B. Check on the third package. Can it fit into box A? No. Then can it fit into box B? No. Then can it fit into box C? Yes. So put in box C. The same method, repeat for packages 4, 5, 6 until 10 and every time check from box A, B, C to D. Finally, the task is complete. Situation 2 You are a supervisor at a travel company. There are 76 people from 10 groups need to sort, so that each member of the group writes the same bus. Each bus can accommodate up to 20 passengers. First, label out the group members from highest to lowest. After that, Accommodate the group with highest number to bus A. Then, check on the group with second highest number. Can them fit into bus A? No. Then, accommodate them into bus B. Check on the group with third highest number. Can them fit into bus A? No. Then, can them fit into bus B? No. Then accommodate them into bus C. The same method repeat for following groups 4, 5, 6 until 10. And every time check from bus A, B, C. If not enough, then add in another bus. Finally, the task is complete. We can see that situation 1 and 2 use the same problem solving method. This method is fill the first space with the highest number and followed by the second highest and repeated with the remaining numbers in descending order until all are filled. If you find this video is helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you got any question, can comment below. Thanks for watching.